Marty Carter here with Sumner One Service. Today I want to talk about printing to custom boxes. There are times in the office environment where we want to print something we don't want others to see. It may be a financial document, some documents from human resources. So let's create a custom box so that way we can send the print job and it won't come out until we approach the machine and retrieve it. Custom box. Add edit box. Here we touch add. Here we'll enter a box name change. I'll type in test. Next you have the option to enter a password. I could skip this step and then anyone would be able to access the user box from the control panel. But in this case we're going to enter a box password. I'll enter one, two, three, four. You have to enter it twice. And then I'll press OK. Next, a few changes I'll make. Auto file deletion. If you don't come get that file within a certain time, do you want it to delete itself? Change on seven days. OK. Delete after printed. After you print the document, do you want it to go away? I like to turn this one on. After that, we're finished. We're going to press save. And we've created another custom box. Now we'll set up a Kyocera custom box using the web interface of the copier. If we can acquire the IP address of that copier, we open up a web browser and we enter that IP address into the address window. Press enter and that'll bring up the command center RX. Once in command center, I'm going to select where it says document box, custom box. Here we'll see the two boxes we've already created. I'm going to click where it says add. Here we'll enter another box. We'll enter a password. And I also like to scroll down and turn on auto file deletion. If seven days you don't come get that file, it will delete itself and delete after printed. So once you do print that document, it will erase and submit that. Registered, I'll click OK. That's how you can set up the custom boxes using the command center. Now that we've created our custom box, let's print to it. Here's how. In the upper left corner of a document, File, Print, select the printer and then choose Printer Properties. Here we're going to choose the Job tab, check mark the Job Storage option and then from the drop down choose custom box. Once we do that we're going to click settings, use specific box number and a password, that same password we used when we created the box. Click OK, OK and print. Now we will print from the custom box. Custom box, choose the box we want to print from, open, here it'll prompt for that password so not anyone can print and release from this box. Okay. Choose the file we've printed, select print, and then start. Thank you.